Welcome to a comparison video showing off eight different CPUs. Here is the shared hardware configuration. Note that I've reduced the GPU workload by changing the resolution fairly low. I want this to be strictly a CPU analysis. I also have OpenXR toolkit deployed using fixed foveated rendering with a, uh, the default performance wide setting. If you haven't seen my introduction to DCS benchmarking, check out this video where I go into further explanations of what we're looking at. Uh, but in this one, we're just comparing live data runs. On the left, we have the 9800X3D and I'll be comparing all other CPUs to that CPU. Um, currently the 7800X3D on the right. And in the bottom, we see the frame time chart showing a histogram distribution of the frame times themselves. The key metric to look at through this live data is the CPU frame time shown here. And this graph that is sliding right to left is showing what those values were. And if there are spikes or delays, it'll show up here. The gameplay footage itself, um, while it is captured from each processor using a capture card, Remember, the capture card is 60 FPS. This YouTube video is 60 FPS. So you can't necessarily compare the video output. It's more about the data itself. Another metric to look at is CPU usage and the thread usage, which we see here. When we switch from eight cores to six cores, such as with the 7600X, there are less cores to divide that workload. Therefore, the percentage of usage is higher. If I had something like uh, an AMD thread ripper, uh, the percentage of utilization would be very low. Note that I have 64 gigabytes of RAM in all of these test benches, and we are exceeding 32 gigabytes of usage. So if you're using 32 gig gigabytes, you might, might think that, oh, there could be a performance gain. Not necessarily. I talked about that in my previous video, especially if you have a fast NVMe drive. I'm not sure why the 9800X3D is reporting less uh, gigabyte available here. Um, something to investigate in my next benchmark run. Uh, speaking of, if you have an F18 and Syria or the default maps and you can send me a track file that is 10 minutes or less of a demanding scenario, whether that's against a, a multiplayer server or in a custom campaign, I welcome the opportunity to benchmark that data. I am by no means a good pilot, so uh, thank you. Um, that's all about I'm going to say for this video. Enjoy.